All right, well, welcome back to Mr. T's Bees. I am back. Long story short, I'm not sure if anybody else watched my other videos. Not sure what else is gonna make the videos today, but I'm back. Long story short, I got hurt last year and I couldn't winter, finish the, the season. Luckily my boys did. So anyways, here we are. This is my single brew chamber queen. So from the past two seasons, and today is the 14th, in case I didn't say that already. And on the 1st of April, these girls already had cap drones. So we are ahead of schedule for these girls. And so, yeah, try to get everybody caught up. Uh, anybody's followed along, I do a single brood chamber. And then in the winter, I take the excluder off because I live in Cape Cod, Massachusetts. Sorry, just looking. I, so all my production hives get a, sorry, hold on a second, I'm thinking here. All my, all my uh, production hives get a deep and a medium and that's how they winter. So this is what they've had, this is what they have coming out of winter. Looks pretty good to me. So it's it's been pretty good weather-wise for us. And uh, let's see here, I'll try to get this off. Try to clean up a little bit so I'm not squishing. So I have not done any cleaning uh, for the from coming out of winter. So I'm just kind of just trying to clean up because I'm squishing squishing little ladies and I don't want that. But that's it. I'm uh I'm gonna try to do a series again. I just did uh, some of my hives, my nukes that came out of winter. Look at all the brood right there. Oh, wow, 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 that's all eggs. All right, gotta be careful here. Drone brood. So the dandelions, for me, the dandelions are just coming out now. Uh, the maple trees have been going, crocuses. What else we have here? Oh my God, that's all eggs. So, so that's it. I'm uh, just gonna try to roll with it this year. Not quite sure. This is a three-year-old queen. You've seen the first two years. And look at that. Oh boy. Looks like we have swarm cups. But we got drone brood right here. And uh, I'm going to just pick through. They're killed anyways. But it's, uh, it's a little bit of a mess here. So I wanted to see what they've, uh, one of the things you can do, drone brood, see if you have any Varroa. So I don't see my girl, but I see a big mess. So I'm just trying to clean everything up. These girls are probably gonna go back to single brood chamber in, in about a week. A little early this year, but like I said, dandelions are already coming. And I'll do a video on that. But the keys to that is not to, so the keys to that is not to, once you put the excluder and you move the queen down, you gotta make sure that there's brood down below. In other words, at night, the, all the, the bees will abandon her because they'll cover the brood. Look at the drone. Look at the drones. Where'd you just go? You were just right there. How do I miss a drone? Where did you just go? Big boy too, where were you? Right here, there's a little drone, big drone. So drones are in. As you can see here, they've been doing drones. Look at the, uh, all in the brood comb, uh, the bur comb. That a, come on, get out of there. So I'm just gonna clean up what I can and move on. But this is, uh, it's a little messy today. But I kind of want to show everybody where, where these girls are at. Did very well. Very good wintering hive right here. So like I said, this is our third year. We'll find her. 
should be a green dot around here somewhere. But this is a beautiful hive. Coming out of winter. Looks good. Look at all the drone brood. Girls, you guys are something else, huh? So, like I said, sorry I'm going to clean up, but I wanted everybody to see what these hives look like coming out of winter. This is going to be, uh, it's my third video I've made today. I'm not quite sure what will make it, what won't. But we're, uh, we're trying. Yeah, we're going to be, uh, I would say early splits this year. Considering what's going on. Looks like early splits this year. So I would say definitely the, the middle of May. Another month from now, we'll be making some splits. All right, there's my girl. Green dot is so faded, you can hardly see it. Probably can't even see it because the sun's in your face, but I gotta find her. Where did you just go? Hold on a second, folks. I gotta find her again. I gotta find her. Where'd you go? All right, let's do this over the hive just in case. Where did she go? All right, so how, how did I find her so quickly? And now she's gone. Like I said, she's got a beautiful green dot right there. All right, I'm not taking my eyes off, so I'm trying not to knock the camera over, but. She is hiding right there. Faded green dot. So there she is. It's gonna be your third summer. I'm excited. This is definitely, definitely gonna be a queen. Not that I haven't been making splits off of her, but definitely a queen. I'm gonna make more splits than I'm gonna kind of focus on uh, honey production. So that's it. I don't, uh, I got her right there. I'm gonna go easy here. I don't want her on the edge. Come on, get down. There you go. There you go. Gotta be careful right now. Now's not a time to have a problem. So anyways, that's it. Let's uh, show the top here. But as you can see, this is the same. Thought it was kind of neat. To, uh, to see this hive come out of winter after watching it for two seasons. You can go on uh, my channel and go back and see see that. I did, the, uh, I did the single brood chamber series just so people could see what I deal with in the, in the middle of summer. Oh boy, this is heavy. Oh yeah. Okay. So as you can see, these girls are on fire. Yeah, look at all the bird comb right there. So I'm gonna try to clean this up real quick. And then we can get in the bottom and see what she's done in the bottom. But that's all drones. It's all drones. Must have been a big space right there, because that's it's all drones. I don't see any Varroa. Good job, ladies. Good job. Alright, let me get that out of there. Come on. Bring this home to my chickens. Come on, come on, watch out. Yeah, that's nasty, I know. So anyways, there's nothing I can do about that. That's all because they put drones in the burr comb and the burr comb is in between the two. Two boxes. So, that's it. Oops. Phenomenal. All right, let's... Uh, Let's see what she's done on the bottom. So probably, next, like I said, next week, I'll come in, I'll put the queen excluder in, barring that there is brood in the bottom here. So there's nothing on that other frame. Whoo, ladies, big hive. It's a huge hive coming out for me. Definitely one of my biggest, just nectar. A little bit of nectar. Definitely my biggest, uh, one of my biggest, sorry. The uh, the other farm I did a video this morning. 
All right, we got eggs right in there. So she's definitely down here. So that'll be good. So next week that'll be pretty close to capped. And then I can move her down and then just start off the uh, single brood chamber. All right, that's a young larva right there. So she's definitely been down below. It's not gonna be an issue next week. Move her down, there'll be plenty of space. Um, maybe I'll do a video. Everybody always seems to ask how how you can do it. I, I've done it for two years. Oh, this one shouldn't have been there. That's got larva in it, so I'm not gonna mess with it. Uh, I've done it for two years. Uh, you can see that if you stay on top of them, you give them space and you make sure that they don't get pollen bound. A lot of pollen coming in right now, but that's not your biggest problem. Oh, look at the cat brood. Cat brood, drone brood. Looks good, ladies. It's all emerged in the middle, and she is come back and laying. Oh, yeah. So we're well on our way. I'm excited about this one. I don't think I usually get my first harvest till uh, middle of June, end of June. So might be early this year. We've had a warmer than normal spring. And yeah, look at that. All right, ladies, well done. Emerging bees right here, I'm down here by my thumb. Look at them all, one, two, three, four, five. Look at all those bees coming out right now. Ooh, emerging bees coming out. Spring girls. They'll be ready. So, sorry, I know, I'm at the farm, so you're gonna get noise truck noise today. Yeah, look at the emerging brood. Yep, and there's drones on the outer edge. So that's it. I don't really, that one's kind of partially drawn, so I'm not too concerned. I'm going to put them away. They're not, uh, they don't need to see it. But anyways, Single brood chamber, this is what they, uh, they look like coming out of winter. They look really well. Look, they look like they really, they wintered phenomenal this year. They went wintered great. And then this will definitely be one of the queens that I have that uh, I do a lot of spoots from. So thank you for watching, glad to be back. Hope your bees are doing good.